Hello all, many have been asking about my AU so this is a species fact video. I'm always adding new facts to my AU this includes today's topic and even these species types of unfinished, though I hope you don't mind that. There are 6 main species types, souls, ghosts, corpses, spirits, demons, and glitches. I'll use specific characters for examples. Cindy is the example for souls. Henry is the example for ghosts. Michael is the example for corpses. Clarissa is the example for spirits. Glitchtrap is the example for glitches. And William is the example for demons. Let's start with souls and soul types. Souls are entities that get trapped in a specific objects. In the FNAF universe and Maya Yu this object is an animatronic. Examples of this are the missing children, Elizabeth and CC, and depending on a Yu, Cindy. Souls are the only being affected by their own agony. If a soul cannot control their agony, it will start to take over their body. This is seen with characters like Andrew, Bella, and Cindy. These are what we call agony scars. They cannot be removed once they're there. In soul form, souls have the mask of their animatronic attached to their face. In occasions of a soul not being bound to an animatronic, their face is blacked out with their assigned pupils. Depending on the soul's sins, the darker the colors will be. For example, Cindy's soul form is mostly white accompanied by light gray shades. As for Elizabeth, the colors are mostly dark gray and black. Pupils are a big part of soul ranking. A heart, diamond, or triangle etc. indicates a weak soul. A soul who either have little to no ability or their power is extremely weak due to agony stealing or simply loss of power. These souls are the lowest ranked. A circle pupil indicates an average soul. A soul with little to no extra abilities. This ranking is considered middle ranked. It is also all soul starting point. An X pupil represents a soul with power coming from vengeance. This soul type of highly ranked. A star pupil represents a powerful highly ranked soul. This is not something them can obtain by luck, rather feeding off agony of other species, plus deal making to become more powerful. Colors are a big part of knowing a soul intentions agony type. Red represents a vengeful soul. This sometimes comes with X pupil but not all the time. Vengeful agony means to be angry about your death. This is shown with Cassidy, Andrew, and Cindy. Blue represents a soul sad about their death, for example CC. A more cyan color represents a forgiving soul. A soul who forgives and accepts their fate. Colors like black, white, or natural eye color indicates a soul and caring about their death. They've moved on and have no feelings on their death. Purple represents a corrupt soul. This only applies to Elizabeth though. Illusion discs are often used by souls. Souls need illusion discs to look and feel normal, and for humans to be able to see them. Most souls use illusion discs to look more like what they looked like when they were alive. So illusion discs can change a soul's whole appearance. Eye color must stay the same. Souls have a number of abilities that are classified as powers. All souls have the same default powers. Flight, teleportation, teleportation and levitation of objects, possession of animatronics more on that later. An extra ability that's obtained by luck is being able to locate an object or person. This is displayed in the season to finale of Starstruck with Gabriel trying to find Elizabeth. Most souls get their power from how vengeful they are or how much agony they have. But to get more powerful they feed off all other species agony. Some even steal agony from other souls. But if they don't want to do that, they have deal making. Deal making is what created a bound between two souls or other species but it's most common between souls. If one soul doesn't do their side of the deal, the other soul will be able to control what they do, but that's only if the soul is a higher rank than them. Most souls make deals for selfish reasons so it's a matter of if your vengefulness or selfishness if you accept the deal. All souls get a void. A void is a place between life and death. It's a personal place in which a soul goes after they've been killed. It holds all their memories and deepest desires.
Bound souls are souls that are bound to a specific animatronic. These souls can roam the Earth throughout the day, but when it hits 12 a.m., they are forced to take their assigned animatronic's hand and be led back to their pizzeria. All souls start out as bound souls. Examples of bound souls are the MC. Bound souls' possession of animatronics is limited. They can make the animatronic do what they want, but only for a limited time. Their agony type also affects how the animatronic acts. Free souls are souls that were set free from their bound animatronic, they can roam around Earth freely. Though with being set free from an animatronic, a part of the animatronic will pass on to the free soul, examples of free souls are Elizabeth, CC, and Cassidy. Combined souls are souls who happen to possess an animatronic together. This created a bound between the souls making them combine souls, what happens to one soul will happen to the other. Two examples combined souls being the Golden Duo and Charlie and Rosemary. Free souls can possess any animatronic that isn't already possessed. Vengeful souls can access a book on species with agony sacrifice. Some souls can't remember their alive life. Some souls use their voids to store things. Next we'll go over ghosts. Ghosts are entities that get stuck or bound to their tomb, this can be a building or an object. Examples of ghosts being Henry, Enid, and Noah, ghosts are the most common species there is. Ghosts get mixed up with souls quite often, they hate it. In ghost form, like souls, the colors represent the sins they've committed. Wounds usually from their death will appear in their ghost form. Normally, it's red but if they've been injected with remnant it will be a hot pink or a light purple. Their eyes are completely white with tears coming out, and without a mouth. Something unnoticed that happens to both souls and ghosts, their eyes get more vibrant after their death. Illusion discs aren't often used by ghosts. Ghosts do not need an illusion disc to look and feel normal. In a situation in which a ghost did wear an illusion disc, they can look how they want with the rule that they look like something connected to their alive life. Like an object, style, etc. Ghost default powers consist of floating, not flying. There's a difference traveling through objects or walls, producing of light, and possession of anything humans, animatronic, object, etc., and sensing when another ghost is around. Ghosts feed off human and other ghosts' despair or sadness. This TIs into the human sacrifices and ghosts deal making rules or standards as well. To feed off another ghost's sadness or despair, the ghost must be higher ranked than them. Feeding off humans' sadness or despair is a common way to get more powerful amongst ghosts. Human sacrifice is a specific process only ghosts have to go through. For a ghost to be unbound from their tomb, they must sacrifice a human life. They must choose a human who's more miserable than others. Being possessed by a ghost will slowly drive the human insane, causing them to take their own life. Deal making isn't common for ghosts as deal making is typically between two souls, though it's not completely foreign. There are a few rules for ghosts deal making. The deal must revolve around inflicting another's sadness. A soul must come to the ghost with an offer. A ghost cannot come to souls with deal offers. A deal cannot be made between two ghosts. Ghosts have two main weaknesses. Hot temperatures and fear. Fear makes ghosts weaker and can even lead to one's death. Hot temperatures are a threat to their existence as they are naturally cold. Hot temperatures can result in a ghost's death. Naturally cold, slightly transparent, can pick and choose which humans see them. Next we will go over corpses and how they work.
Corpses are entities that souls get stuck in their dead body, it's trapped and unable to get out. This usually happens via remnant injection before or during their death, unique deaths, things of that nature. Corpses' skin often turn different colors or are severely wounded, and they have sharp pointy teeth. Their eyes will either be blacked out with a hot pink or light purple pupil, or be white and cloudy. Corpses' bodies work very interestingly, questions have been going around about how my Michael can consume drinks and I finally have an answer. Corpse organs are almost always crushed or unfit for eating solid food. All corpses can drink human drinks but that is it. This does indeed apply to Michael. Without an illusion disc physical attacks or wounds will not do anything expect hurt a corpse's body. If they are a rotting corpse, like Michael, they will not feel the pain. Illusion discs are commonly used by corpses. Illusion discs help corpses get rid of death wounds and help them look and feel normal. Even though their body works like a human's would, they still cannot eat human food. Corpse powers aren't like actual powers. Their powers are more for physical and body strength. Things like muscle strength, speed, stamina, flexibility, reactive strength, agility, things of that nature. Corpses feed off their own and human sins, along with human flesh. For their own and human sins they have to feed off humans and their own bad intentions and sinful behavior. To feed off human flesh they must eat humans. This is the substitute I talked a little about earlier. Next we'll go over spirits and angels. A spirit is a soul that doesn't feel a need to be on earth any longer. Once they've died they've given up all negative feelings or thoughts. If their soul is worthy they are transported to a realm, titled Limbo. A limbo is a place in which a spirit goes after death for eternal peace and rest. After giving up all their agony it will go on to possess an object the new spirit has history with, examples of spirits being Clarissa, Simon, and Mrs. Emily Evelyn. Spirits and angels are not the same. Human could never become a real angel as humans are morally gray and flawed. Angels are purely good and come from heaven. Spirits most obvious stand out are the wings and halo, though besides that, their eyes are fully white with their pupil representing what they desire most. Spirits have the choice to look how they want and if they want their wounds to appear, spirits will inhabit a feature of the object their agony went into. For example, Clarissa. Her agony went into Ballora, the result of this is her blue multicolored hair. Spirits have all the powers that souls do, they aren't that different. Spirits do not really have a specific way to get more powerful as it's a needed. Though, their power is controlled by their emotions. Spirits' power mostly comes from respect. Types of halos all have different meanings, there are four different halo types, all giving a spirit a different ability. A departed halo represents a spirit who's reluctant about being a spirit. They can travel to the human realm and back but cannot be seen by anyone. Usually, they are usually lowly respected. An example of a spirit with a departed halo being Clarissa. A dripping halo represents a spirit who feels an urge to go back to Earth for very specific reason. They can look at the human realm but are unable to do much more. Usually, they are respected by most. An example of a spirit with a dripping halo being Simon. A solid halo represents a spirit who knows exactly what they want. They are allowed to travel to any realm, usually not Earth. They are respected by most. An example being Mrs. Emily. A diamond-bound halo gives a spirit the ability to determine who dies or to spare one's life. An example being Clarissa. Having two halos is not common but definitely not unheard of, as it's seen on Clarissa. Next we'll go over demons, devils, and their differences.
Ryan's process is not much different from spirits. Only, if the soul is unworthy of becoming a spirit, they will become a demon and be sent to hell. The way demons work in Mayo is very interesting to me at least, they get assigned to one of the seven deadly sins based on their actions in their alive life. This affects their appearance, emotions sometimes, and how they get more powerful, more on that later. Demons and devils are not the same. They may be similar but are not the same, like angels and spirits. Demons are souls unworthy of being spirits as explained earlier, devils are ghosts sent to hell due to unforgivable sins. Most of demons' appearance depends on what sin they are connected to, though they all will have horns, a tail, and maybe wings, devil's appearance is followed by ghosts' full form. Henry as example, if Henry was a devil the only thing that would change is his colors get darker and with horns and a tail, demons and devils cannot use illusion discs, it was turned to dust if they came in context to them. stated before, demons get assigned one of the seven deadly sins, mostly for how they get more powerful. The sin of pride is one's excessive belief in their own abilities, seeing themselves as higher than others and downgrading others' achievements. Demons with the pride sin are incredibly common. Pride demons' appearance is more red lead. They have common black horns w a red outline, their amount of pride can affect their body, like how agony does with souls. Pride demons feed off human pride. They focus on a particular human and make that human more prideful in something they care about, ultimately making them obsessive and toxic. The sin of envy is one's desire to be someone else or being jealous of another's good fortune, wanting it for yourself. Envy demons' appearance is associated with blue or cyan. They can have either white or black horns and represent a snake. Envy demons feed off their own envy. They fixate on a specific human, with this they have the chance to possess them to be them. Though the human won't know they're getting possessed, the demon will slowly drive both themselves and their host to insanity. The sin of wrath is excessive anger, usually formed by a desire to punish someone. Wrath demon's appearance is associated with both red and an orange-red color and have black, larger than common, horns and tail. Wrath demons feed off human rage and revenge. They push humans to get revenge on those who wrong them. This could lead the human to become obsessive of their revenge, ruining the human's health and raising the demon's power level. The sin of lust is an intense sexual desire. Lust demons are known as succubus for females or incubus for males. Incubus succubus have variations of a specific pink with white horns. Their wings are also particularly bigger and with a specific tail. Incubus or succubus feed off humans' lustful desires and toxic love. Succubus or incubus have the power to turn a romantic relationship toxic by whispering negative things into one of the partner's ears. These toxic thoughts will cause the relationship to slowly become toxic as the succubus or incubus feeds off the toxicity they created. The sin of gluttony is excessive eating or drinking, often displayed with alcohol. Gluttony demons are actually wendigos. Gluttony demons are led with different shades of purple. They often have antlers for their representation of deers and their horns can be either white or black. Gluttony demons often stem from corpses. They feed off human flesh and have a constant hunger for it. If they get the chance to possess a human, the human will have urges to hurt those around them and eat the remains. The sin of greed is an excessive desire for what makes one more powerful. This is often displayed with money. Greed demons are obviously a green color. Their horns are more curved than others and can be either black or white, though are commonly black. They represent spiders, often giving them extra limbs. Greed demons feed off human greed. They can make humans want more than they actually need, feeding into greed. 
though, greed demons will never be satisfied. The sin of sloth is excessive laziness, often associated with oversleeping. Sloth demons are a light yellow color or a pastel pink. Their horns are white and smaller than others. Their tail is thicker than others and they do not have wings. They have fluffy floppy ears that represent goats. Sloth demons feed off humans' excessive laziness. They can cause humans to feed into lack of motivation, ultimately causing them to bed rot and have negative emotions.